on offer one of the most powerful mini PC with a processor with a good integrated graphics card. These days there is a 100 euro coupon that I will leave you with in the description. But now let's go and see the PC in detail. Sure, this one you see is the Nipogee and Vi means. Currently there are no videos on YouTube if I saw well so I should be the first to try it. Uh, the package is this, we have 16 gigabytes of RAM memory, 512 of SSD, a bit. Few for what is the performance of this processor, which are superior to many other mini PCs and the attractive price I'll tell you later. And inside the package we see what comes out. So this as you can see is the mini PC all drilled on the top. Heatsink, so reaction heatsink also on the side and back part. Also on the right side, it looks really well done. A HDMI, HDMI cable, although they are not very long if you need a longer HDMI. Inside also comes out a power supply, which as you see is very compact. So it allows you not to have that huge heavy power supply also because the power consumption of these mini PC are really low. I have Semila 900HX. A power button on the right side with the three and a half LED jack and the two ports of type. I forgot these are 3.2 as well as also. This one you see on the front. Going to the back instead, we even find a type four USB that also allows Octa handle screens with 8K output, 30 frame gigabit LAN, 1 2.5 gigabit LAN. So if you don't want to use Wi-Fi 6, other type A USB, so we have four type A USB and two HDMI, I remind you that this mini PC should also support multi-screen. There is inside also a visa mount to go and fix it on the wall, which I currently cannot find. Let me show you the dimensions then. We have about 12 centimeters. Foot 12. Obviously with a thickness you see here of about 3.5 centimeters. Let's go and turn it on and see how it is composed. As you see, it's very nice. The dark gray coloring is a mini PC that you can practically install anywhere near the TV in an office where you need something compact and that does not consume too much. But by the way, also for those who have very little, very little space. So this is the mini PC very fast, even in opening applications. SC that allows you to have a super smooth mini PC. Also because I show you that the read and write speed is not about a thousand thousand five hundred that we see on other mini PC. But slightly higher it can quietly run just like a PC, a mid-range or high-end laptop. Let's try playback in 4K. Connection permitting. Quietly as you see. It works excellently. I'll show you hardware info right away. If 1900H6 nanometer processor TDP 45 watts maximum. Uh, we have 8 cores, 16 threads. This is the cache you see here on L316 megabytes with a maximum clock up to 5 gigahertz. By the way, 16 gigabyte DDRV memory, good, good compared to many others that have slower memories. We have the Radeon 680M, which is the best of the best integrated for this mini PC. Um, with still a 512 megabytes of memory. I will show you the operating system that has the Windows 11 professional version. Yes, it was 4-bit and 23 HD. One channel memory. Let's see if you can also go and... 
a check if it's expandable next let's go and open it up the NVMe is completely anonymous unknown 512 gigabytes and now we're going to go and do obviously a test the PC like all mini PCs it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity 6 as you can see the 6 ADM is capable of running games obviously not too exorbitant unless You don't go for a compromise between resolution and graphics. In which case we have about 40-50 FPS. I show you then that it does not have major drops in frame rate. The game is open approximately 15 minutes fans to maximum obviously however you can play quietly. Obviously. It is always a compromise. It was not born as a mini PC for gaming. But we are testing the computer, the temperatures are also quite high as you can see. This lets us know that it is obviously not a mini PC designed for super prolonged gaming sessions. Uh, we are at a peak of 90 degrees with an average of 70. And these are the parameters that were set by default. Then the mini PC has good Wi-Fi performance, but obviously it gets worse if we move too far away from the original router. And so it might do a little bit more because a high-end laptop does a little bit more if we are very close to the router or a repeater. In this case, the repeater is here and the mini PC is there and all the mini PCs that I've tried don't have a super The ability even in other rooms to have good speed if the router is too far away so Ethernet cable would be better. You can see that in multi-core this processor is really performing. Look at how it is running Cinebench R where currently it is already on a good level. But let's wait for the final score. Here are the benchmarks I did with Cinebench R that you can also compare with other mini PC or other processors. These are the comparisons with other processors. Very good performance also on the editing side, but as you can see this PC of mine reaches highs of 90 degrees, fortunately not over. And this, however, despite the temperatures, leads it to be stable. Even while it is generating content on TikTok, it manages to run quietly. This makes it clear that it is a really good processor anyway. The, then I show you before I send you back the link below if you don't find the coupon available follow us on telegram it will come uh, There is one free slot, so we only have one module I for RAM memory, which is the same as we find in laptops as You can see 16 gigabytes We have the memory SD NVMe and a second NVMe slot so we can go and increase the memory Well, let me know what you think in the description. I'll leave you the link to this product, the discount code. And I remind you that if you follow us on the Telegram channel, Guido Informatica One, I leave you in the description. You could already have tips and coupons, discount codes on this and other products. In fact, I had already posted it. It is a mid-range PC that at this price mounts one of the best processors that also has a good integrated for sure. 
It is not meant for gaming, but it can run indie games or low-end games without any problem. The temperatures are a little high, but as in all mini PC, important that it never exceeds 80 and 90 degrees to ward off any problems. Let me know what you think below in the comments. I am available because I will keep it on trial for a little while. So if you have any questions, ask me now.